I'm going to throw a name at you, Dan, a name that may be close to your heart from this summer, Bukayo Saka. Right. The criticism was, why was Saka taking the, the deciding penalty for England? So you can't have it both ways. You can't criticize Mohamed Salah being the fifth, and then criticize a guy like Bukayo Saka being the, the decider penalty for England. And it can go wrong both ways. See, here's the thing. In the end, in order for the fifth penalty taker to not be able to participate in the penalty kick shootout, somebody had a shocker most of the time. Somebody must have had a shocker. And guess what? Egypt had a shocker. You missed two out of four penalties. That is decidedly a shocker. And so therefore, he doesn't get a chance. But it's not because, well, we just left our best player and he doesn't get to participate. He doesn't get to participate because the other two guys just missed penalties. And so while we can sort of digest it and process it in different ways, we cannot turn around and criticize the decision of leaving uh, Mohamed Salah number fifth, but also then criticize that an uh, inexperienced guy like Saka is taking the big pressure penalty. It can go both ways. Saka? I, I totally agree. Um, and and to, to Drew's point, it's, it's way too simplistic to, to level that criticism, but I'll, I'll go further and say, let's make it even more simplistic. Let's just allow the coach or manager, whoever it is, to make that decision at the time. He knows the players. He knows the kinds of games they've, they've been having. He knows their personalities. What Gareth Southgate does in the summer is not necessarily what... Um, does does for Senegal in, in the final. So to that point, if we are talking about formulas as to, as to where everybody goes, um, what do you do if your number one penalty taker misses a penalty during the 90 minutes? Do you leave him for fifth or do you put him early on? And again, Alusese made that call on the day and it worked. Did it not? We would probably be loving some criticism at him as well as to why he left Mane for fifth and he would be so nervous and, and everything else. Just let managers make those decisions. What works for one doesn't necessarily work for the other. You know, there's one thing that's always... I've never been able to figure it out why. Why is it, right? We sit here and we talk about coaches, the influence they have on the team. But yet, when it comes to a penalty shootout, the coach has to sit out and isn't allowed to be involved. Well, why is that? He's not allowed to be involved anyway. He's a coach. He's not, he's not allowed to drink under 20 minutes, is he? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You've got a wait, penalty wait, shootout. Wait, 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 you've got a penalty shootout. So... You know, we're talking about, well, you, you can change it up. How are you supposed to... How's the coach meant to change anything up? If he's sitting 40 yards over there? Why is the coach not allowed to be out there? Yeah. Because guess what? He's called the coach for a reason. Because he coaches the team. Right. He makes the decisions. So you'd have him he's out He's probably there. picking the five that, that he initially thought. Right. But if he's, if he's sitting 50 yards, 40 yards away, who's going to change it? You'd have him sent a circle with everyone Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Yeah. He's the coach. Yeah. Doing his job. There you go. But he's not allowed to do his job, apparently. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.